just got this in. So this is the Speedix 20 amp light ESC. Now this is something that I bought to replace uh, some really old ESCs and another drone. I'll get to that in a minute. It's 10.5 by 23.5 by 5 millimeters. I mean this thing is really really tiny. It's, it might be hard to see but here there's, there's my uh, index finger and there's the ESC. This thing is small. It's an excellent form factor. It's got BL Heli S and it handles up to two to four cell batteries. So it's really good for those small three inch builds. It's got a little servo cable here that it comes with and it's already pre shrink wrapped and everything. All right, so what did I need this for? This is my Vortex 250 Pro. This is a pretty old drone now. I've had it for a number of years. I've had it since 2016. And it's still one of the best drones that I've flown. It really is. It's a great uh, bind and fly drone. It was, my, it was my first true real racing drone, okay? Let me show you the ESC. This is the ESC. Now these ESCs use one shot 125 and they're kind of old now, which you know is to be expected. They're, they were designed in uh, probably 2015 because the Vortex really didn't get on the market until 2016. So yeah, that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at a 20 amp Vortex 250 Pro Easy ESC. Now, check out this one really the same size and that's what I was looking for something a very very similar size only a little thicker in width now why was I looking for that the reason why is because the vortex keeps its ESC's in this plastic arm so you really need to have a small enough ESC that's gonna fit in that arm and it does I was really ha I'm really happy to say that this ESC fits in this arm just fine so I took the time, uh, I soldered it up, I got it all put in there, and I'm very pleased to report that the Speedix 20 Lite ESC works just fine. I ripped 10 packs through this thing, and not once did anything happen. Everything flew perfectly smoothly, just as I expected. This is just one of those days that when you have a good day in the hobby, you want to share it, and that's what I'm doing here. Now these ESCs run D-Shot 600, so in beta flight, if you do make the switch on your Vortex, you're going to want to change all the ESCs uh, from one shot 125 to D-Shot 600. That's that setting in beta flight. And then after that, you're good. Uh, the only other caveat that I noticed was you need to be careful when you're wiring up the motors because these, remember, these are the clockwise and those are the counterclockwise and you're gonna have to make sure that you adjust the wiring correctly when you do that otherwise they're not gonna spin the right direction which leads me to one other thing uh, now on the vortex I had trouble using BL Heli S configurator on my computer I just kept getting an error about the pass through and I really wasn't able to solve it. That was disappointing since I can't seem to change any of the firmware or update it or anything. But here's the thing, you couldn't do anything with this ESC anyway, so I don't really care uh, as far as that. Hopefully one day I'll be able to figure that out. But for the moment, this got me back in the air and these things are cheap, 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 cheap. This thing is expensive. This is like $23 per ESC, whereas this is like uh, $8.99, $7.99 per ESC, depending on where you get it from and what little coupon codes you tend to get together. So I got a pack of these. They're like $35 for a pack of four of them. So yeah, I'm very happy with the price and the performance of these. I tried real hard to push this thing today, and I was, like I said, I was zipping around. No problems at all. So yep, yeah, that's my review of the Speedix ESC 20 amp 2 to 4 S BL Heli S D Shot 600 ESC. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and as always, have a great day, guys.